here with Chef Mark Bailey at Melba's. We love Melba's in Harlem. Melba's my favorite restaurant here. I'm a Harlemite, and the catfish strips and the sexy sangria ah. is to die for. <laughs> but we are talking um, barbecue Day. today. Yes, for Labor Day weekend. You know, I'm keeping it down home, comfort <laughs> foods, and so, you know, nothing says comfort more than ribs, you know? Yes. <laughs> so, what I like to do with my ribs, and you know, you got to start with a high quality cut of meat. And so okay. I always go with Smithfield Prime back ribs because it's just so tender and it's easy just to throw on the grill. Mm -hmm. um, so, and you can basically create your own rub. And since we're going down home, I created like a Memphis style rub going ah. on here. And so I'll get a little into it. We have brown sugar here, some dry mustard. We have two different salts, celery as well as kosher, and then some black pepper. And then we have a little spice, you know, I'm Jamaican. <laughs> Chili powder. And so that becomes your dry rub, actually, that you're going to place on the meat right before you do anything else. And so you place it on the lid. That's it for about 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah, so that the, the, the sugar can like kind of melt mm -hmm. and really caramelize into the uh, pork. And you just leave that outside? And you let and that, yeah, let it sit outside. And then when you throw it, right before you throw it on the grill is when you start adding some mustard. And use the mustard kind of like as a glaze. Mm -hmm. I'll just, you know, sample a little of that here. But you use the mustard kind of like as a glaze, glaze over the dry rub and then cover your entire pork. And then this is the little trick. While it's roasting on the grill, mm -hmm. I say instead of like some people like to spray a little water on there, I say go with applesauce. Ah. That's in here. Dip that in there okay. and then brush it. So while it's cooking, I say use applesauce to kind of like. This is apple cook. juice? Apple juice. I mean, I'm saying applesauce. <laughs> apple juice. <laughs> apple juice, exactly, to kind of glaze it and cook it. And that kind of gives it a little extra sweetness and slow cook it. I always say, you know, don't, you don't have to. Uh, turn the grill up that high, maybe to about 250, 300, and let it slow cook. It's really, really tender. So how long would way. something like this take? I would say about 45 minutes. They're really, really quick. 45 minutes to an hour on a grill, it should okay. be done. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, so, you know, dig right on in. And this, and this is just straight mustard and straight... Straight mustard and apple, apple juice, juice, exactly. You know, simple things that you already mm -hmm. have in the home. We want to keep this simple and easy. And speaking of simple, this is my porky, pork and beans. <laughs> and, you know, I was telling you earlier that I just go with a can bought. You know, you don't have to do anything special. Just get your regular can, but we're going to zhuzh it up a little bit, you know? We're going to throw a little brown sugar in there, and I'll get you to stir this while okay. I am throwing some stuff but in But I there. love this because, I mean, seriously, who has time to necessarily yeah. do this from scratch? You know, so. and if you're doing a last minute, which a lot of people mm -hmm. tend to do depending on the weather, you know, um, this is ground pork. And what I do is I pre-sautéed it, and so why I call it a porky pork and beans because I like mm -hmm. to zhuzh up the pork aspect a little mm -hmm. bit. And then you have two options here. You can either go with dry mustard or you can go with actual mustard. We'll okay. put the actual mustard in there and get that stirred around. But I would say you can go with both. See, once you do this, no one's going to know that this was a canned. Of course, you know, once it's all done, and then we'll stir that up real okay. good, and then we'll pour that right in whatever container. And, you know, you can use ramekins as well and make it individualized. Mm -hmm. I love that, but bake it 30 minutes, and you're good to go. You got that right there. It's wow. delicious. It's sweet. It really, you know, the mustard really works well that in is there. Mm -hmm. So, um, 30 minutes at what degree? 30 minutes, 350. 350. Yeah, okay. and you're good to go. Coleslaw, you know, it's a, a barbecue favorite. Staple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a staple. But, you know, I like to add a little spice. I told you earlier that I'm Jamaican, so I like to add a little spice to it. What I've used in the um, in the sauce is basically some jerk seasoning. Mm. And you can get jerk seasoning anywhere nowadays. It's in every, yeah. There's little spice. Yes, <laughs> delicious. This is the spicy one, too. But you can get it in mild as well. And I always say a little goes a long way. Okay. You can just add a little bit to your um, your mayonnaise, your sour cream, your uh, lemon juice, and an herb. You know, you can either use dill or I use parsley in this case. And then, you know, you're just going to add that to some already shredded uh, cabbage as well as some onions. You know, I went with regular white onions, but, I, you know, sometimes red onions really work well. And again, that little teaspoon of jerk seasoning goes a long way because you'd be surprised how spicy this is. <laughs> but, yeah, that's, I think that's a great trick for your coleslaw. Easy and simple. And, that's tr and if you could even do store-bought coleslaw and just add this to and it. And add it to yeah. it, exactly. Yeah. Again, if it's quick and you're on the go, save yourself time. Get mm -hmm. everything pre-made pre as, as best as possible, and then you're good to go with, with all the jerk these. seasoning, there's no way anyone's going to copy that. You're not, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that would be your... You know, keep that to yourself. It'll be like, it'll ain't your Chinese secret. You don't have to tell anybody. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and then corn. You know, a lot of people throw corn on the grill. Mm -hmm. And then they think butter is enough. You know, and, and yeah, butter does lend, you know, a little sweetness to it. But I like to I say an herb is important for your corn. And so what I've done here is, you know, I created like a little butter with some parsley. I've thrown a little lemon juice in this as well. And if you want, you can put a little sugar as well. Mm. And then make sure while you're, uh, while it's on the grill, you just constantly keep basting it with the butter and the, 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 um, the herb butter, actually. So what's the secret to, to doing the corn correctly with the 
cooking it. You know, there's two ways of doing it. You can wrap it, pre-wrap it with um, aluminum foil and mm -hmm. put it on there. And it kind of cooks within the uh, confines of the aluminum paper. Or if you want to get those grill marks, which I tend to love. I love the, uh, mm -hmm. the caramelization that it just tastes so good. So I like to get the actual corn on the grill and get that going. But again, the drippings will, you know, you got to make sure you have something for the drippings. But, you know, either way I think works. And how long does each one take? Um, really, it's up to you. I mean, if, if you use pre, if you have the corn and it's like maybe pre-soaked or something like that, it might take a little bit longer. If it's dry, it might be quicker. So okay. it's really about maybe 20 to 25 minutes, depending uh -huh. on if the, how uh, damp the uh, corn might be. Okay, yeah. I can do that. <laughs> I can <laughs> even do that. That's a simple has to be real simple for me. Yeah, real simple. That looks so good. It is. It, it was, and we're going to have all the recipes on our website, cbsnewyork.com. You can never, I think, have enough butter. No, or stuff. brown sugar. Exactly. It makes everything better. <laughs>